Hi everyone, so today's video I am going to be talking about what not to say to somebody with an eating disorder. So the first one is, you don't look like you have an eating disorder. Oh my god, no, you can't say that. Telling somebody that they don't look like they are sick or they don't have an eating disorder or they don't have a problem can be really, really bad, seriously. The thing is, with eating disorders, not everybody is going to be sick thin. It's not not going to be like that with everybody. Because there's different eating disorders. There's not just anorexia, there's bulimia, there's EDNOS, there's binge eating disorder. You know, it's not just one. And, and the other thing is that most people with an eating disorder are either a normal weight or they're overweight. That's the thing. So you can't judge somebody on their eating disorder by what they look like. What's your secret? You have no idea how much this one upsets me. Because an eating disorder is not a diet, okay? It's not. End of. It's not a diet. And you're asking them what their secret is. That just makes you want to explode. Because you just can't ask that. Because as I said, it's not a diet. It's not a lifestyle choice. Anybody with an eating disorder, if they could choose not to have it, they would choose not to have it, okay? This next one is quite an important one, I find. You're eating. You must be getting better. No. You see, on that day, yeah, they may be eating, but it doesn't mean they're getting better. Because if you point out to them that they're eating, then the next day they're not they might not want to eat because they're thinking you're looking at them you've seen what they're eating and that's going to play on their mind so no it doesn't mean that they're getting better oh my god i wish i could go that long without food how'd you do it no no a lot of this comes down to when people say um how do you have the willpower to do it like there's a variety of different problems that cause eating disorders, okay? If you've been abused, if you've been bullied, you know, there's so many different issues and you're asking them how they do it. I mean, if they actually responded with the truth, they would say, I was abused or I was bullied or something like that. Can you imagine your face if they actually came back with the truth? What would you do? So. That is one question you do not ask. All of these you do not ask, but it's nothing to do with willpower, okay? An eating disorder is a mental illness, okay? It's not something you can just switch on and off. It's not about willpower. Just snap out of it. If you could just snap out of it, like with any mental illness, don't you think you would? It's not something you want to have, so why would you stay in it if you could snap out of it? Or if you if you could not have it, you would snap out of it. But it's not like that. It's not that easy and it's not that simple. So the next two are, I'm going to put together. Why don't you just eat? Why don't you just not throw up? You see, those two go together because telling somebody to not eat or telling somebody to not throw up it's just not that simple. You don't want to be throwing up all the time and you don't want to be starving yourself, but you can't help it. It's what your mind does and what your mind is getting you to think and it's a mental sickness. If you could just eat or stop throwing up, you would. It's not that easy though. And I know I keep kind of repeating myself in this, but it's not as simple as one, two, three, you know, it's, there's, it's so much more complicated than that and there's so many underlying issues that people with eating disorders need to conquer before they can actually recover and they need to be in therapy and all of this to be able to. I mean, some people may be able to recover on their own, but a lot of the time I've seen that most people do need to be in therapy. I'm not saying that's for everyone, but a lot of the time it it definitely helps with recovery i hope it helped you kind of understand what you shouldn't be saying um 
My next one will be on what to say to somebody with an eating disorder. Because, well, I think it helps to see it from both angles, not just having what not to say because because then you know what you shouldn't be saying, but you're not actually sure what you should be saying, if that makes sense. So my next one will be doing on what you do say to somebody with an eating disorder to help you have conversations with anybody that you know who may have an eating disorder. So I hope this video helped in some way. Leave your comments below. Um, please like sh and share the video and subscribe. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Good morning. And I wanted a mug where I would feel happy when I got up. So if I was in a really bad mood or I was having a really bad day with my mental health, I would be able to look at something while having a cup of tea and it would make me feel a little bit better. It wouldn't take everything away, but it would just make me feel a bit better about myself. So that's what this mug does. The next thing is...